This episode of Let's Knit Together is sponsored by Bijou Basin Ranch. Use promo code LK2G to get 5% off at their online store. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. Today, dishcloths! I'm going to warn you right now, knitting dishcloths are addictive. When I find myself getting bored with a project, I pick up a ball of worsted weight cotton, randomly select a stitch pattern, and start a square. They can be used as dishcloths or washcloths, or even add a strap and a button to make a baby bib. They make great quick gifts, and you never seem to have enough of them. Here are the basics. You need good cotton or cotton linen, something machine washable. Make it around 7 inches square. Use a snug stitch so that it doesn't stretch too much when it soaks up water. A basic square can be knit bottom up or on the bias. Circles are usually short rows or center out. In the past, I've knitted most of my dishcloths with Lily sugar and cream yarn. I decided to venture out and try other cotton yarns and actually test them in the kitchen. I've knitted up these six garter stitch dishcloths, each in a different yarn. The sugar and cream yarn was stiff and difficult to knit, but has good strength when knitted up. Village Yarncraft cotton was a little softer than the sugar and cream and slightly thinner, but it knits up nice. Crystal Palace cotton chenille was very soft, but didn't seem to make a very sturdy cloth. Knit Picks Worsted Shine was soft to knit and created a soft but sturdy fabric. Peaches and Cream and Lion Brand seemed a lot like the Village Yarncraft cotton. They are both thin but knit up nice. I also want to mention my needle selection when knitting these cotton dishcloths. After trying my Denise Knit Picks and Bamboo needles, they were all difficult on my hands because of the stiff cotton. My Swallow Casein needles were much easier to use because they're soft and smooth with a good tip. If you have arthritis or tendonitis, these needles are a great relief. One sign of a good yarn is how well the dishcloth holds up through several washes. We tested all six in the kitchen. So we've got all of the dishcloths here all set up with the Lily Sugar and Cream, the Village Yarn Craft, the Crystal Palace Cotton Chenille, the Knit Picks Shine, then we've got the Peaches and Cream, and then we have the Lion Brand. All of them all ready to start. That, that was pretty good. You like memorized the whole thing. I spent all <laughs> afternoon memorizing them. <laughs> What, what one is this? This is the uh, Lily Sugar and Cream. Okay. This is the one that I usually uh, make them with. You've made, I've had these before. Yes, you have. Yes, I've used it. That's the, that's the reference. This is the Hirschner's Village Yarn Craft. It's kind of a, a generic brand for, for Hirschner's where I buy some yarn sometimes. This one kind of actually feels slimier. Still doing a good scrubbing action. It's holding together, pretty firm, not too stretchy. We're gonna to try to figure out what the difference is between them, right? That's yeah. what we're gonna do. Feels a little slimier, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah. It's kinda of like wine tasting with Gary Vaynerchuk. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Pretty much the same? No, this one. It, it does feel different. They're different. It? Yeah. Yeah, they're different. Yeah. This one looks fluffier than this one. This one kind of contracts a lot. This is the Crystal Palace Cotton Chenille. I have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit more flimsy than the other ones. Although it really puffs out quite a lot when you, when you soak it in the water. It's really puffy. A little weak. I don't know. This doesn't feel that great. I mean, it's it's really squishy and it holds the water good. But it feels like it's going to fall apart. Yeah, it's like, ugh. This might be more appropriate for a washcloth rather than a dishcloth. We need a close-up of this. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's like, ugh. <laughs> it crunches up. <laughs> it doesn't spring back or something. Yeah. Uh. That one's yeah, I good. wouldn't use this for a dishcloth. Mm -mm. This one is no. Okay, this is the Knit Picks uh, Shine. This is, uh, this is actually made of cotton and model. 
This is great for like knitting babies gifts and stuff like that. I've never actually used it for a washcloth before. This actually feels really slimy. I think that's the model. And it washes okay. A little slimy. It's slimy? Yeah, because you feel the shine. What it's like it it's got like a shimmery kind of fiber in it. <laughs> you splash it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> okay, then this one is the peaches and cream. This is the one that Mason Dixon knitting folks really recommend. So it just seems a lot like the the Lily sugar and cream when it, I was knitting it up. This is good. I like this. It seems like it doesn't stretch out as much as the, the Lily sugar and cream. This is the Lion Brand one. This is the one that has quite a lot of yarn in the actual ball, so you can probably get two washcloths out of one ball of yarn. Actually, this absorbs more water than I think the other one did, than the peaches and cream. Doesn't stretch out too much either. It's pretty good. <laughs> They're all the same, <laughs> except for that one. We got, here, this is what we're gonna do. Put this way. Okay, now, this one, is crap. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna take the first That's one. That's the most expensive yarn. This is the first one we did, and this is the last one we did. Right? Yes. All right. So we're gonna do together like this, like face off. No, this one's more They're stretched very out. Very similar. Yeah, I think I think this one holds together. This one right here holds that together a better. Bit better than this one. A little bit better. We're gonna be like you know the March Madness. Right. Is okay. that we're gonna be? So of the two, this one was the well, better. Just I don't remember that. That's the yellow one, and that one's a little better. No, no. Okay, but you oh, have yeah, to well, hold up the the better one with, against all the other ones no, to see if it still holds true as the better one. The contest rules. <laughs> I just could have, I wanted to figure it out from in my brain. <laughs> see, see, this one holds together. This one would be more of a scrubber thing. Yeah. It's well, a little it has bit a more of a scrubber. Has a little bit of rayon in it, which helps with the scrubber. Yeah. I mean, I like this one. I think even better than the yellow one. Uh huh. But although I'm looking at it now, it looks like it's coming apart. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So Look. Like there are short fibers in it uh, that are coming apart. Maybe it's not a mercerized cotton, but I thought it was. It looks like it holds together, but I think it's just fragmenting so fine that it's just got falling apart. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Yeah, this one probably maybe no. Probably maybe. That's probably maybe no. But these two are one tied. of the rankings. Probably maybe the these two multicolored ones are the best. Seems it seems so, and I actually think this one, which is the peaches and cream, is a little bit fuller. It absorbs water and holds on to it more. I want to see this one because this was the first one. This is our look how your our baseline. That's our baseline. I think this one's pretty good. I mean, we've used these for a while. Yeah. They're okay. The one thing I have a problem with it, yeah. you have to go like this. Ah! You know, <laughs> squeeze the water out. <laughs> I think this is better than this this one. Mm -hmm. and, and it might even be better than that one. So I think, you know, maybe like in this order, like this. Do we have our final the, judgment at this, this point? Here? I think this is the judgment. Okay, I think this final is the judgment. order of. of of greatness. Okay, so we get. I think uh, it is. In last place, the Crystal Palace. In fifth place, uh, the Knit Picks Shine. In f fourth place, the Hirschner's Village Yarn Craft. Then in third place, the Lily Sugar and Cream, which is Old Faithful for us. Then in second place, we've got the Lion Brand, which was it was tough draw between that and first, and, and then in first place, I guess we have the Peaches and Cream. There you go. How's that? What do you think? <laughs> it seems like knitting dishcloths is becoming more and more popular. If you have a favorite dishcloth yarn, leave a comment on our website. Also, check out the show notes for links to my favorite dishcloth patterns. After I was hooked on knitting dishcloths, I came across this book, Mason Dixon Knitting, and couldn't stop laughing at Kay Gardner and Ann Shane's many stories. The book is based on Anne and Kay's blog, MasonDixonKnitting.com. The two of them have a lot of great project ideas, including dishcloths, and the stories about their knitting and their families will have you rolling on the floor. 
So this is not only a great book of projects, but a great book of knitting humor. On our Let's Knit Together Ravelers group, we're knitting a pair of toe-up socks and an iPod cozy with a leftover sock yarn for our May Knit Along. Join us on May 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern for a live chat to show your progress on your Knit Along project or whatever other projects you're working on. If you're joining the chat with a webcam, please be sure to use a headset to prevent audio feedback and echo. For instructions on how to participate in our live session, go to lessknittogether.com slash live for details. Our sponsor, Bijou Basin Ranch, carries lovely soft yak yarn and fiber, perfect for any luxurious knitting project. Remember to use the code LK2G for a 5% discount during checkout at their online store, and part of your purchase goes toward helping out Let's Knit Together. We want to express our sincere condolences to Kay Gardner from Mason Dixon Knitting and her family for their recent loss. If you wish to show your support, Kay has suggested donating a hand knit to Afghan for Afghans. There's a link in the show notes for more information. Thanks for all your comments on episode 45 and sharing why you do or don't spin. And now, the winner of this great knitting bag from Zigzag Stitches is... Adrian from Planned Pearlhood. Adrian, please contact us with your mailing address and we'll send this out to you right away. Diabolical Yarns has donated this beautiful hand-dyed skein of sport weight yarn, and we'd like to give one of you a chance to win it. Just leave a comment on this episode telling us what your favorite yarn is for dishcloths or kitchen accessories. We'll choose a random commenter on May 15th to win this gorgeous skein of yarn. Okay. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>